More than 2,000 years ago, the people of Eurasia explored and opened up several routes of trade and cultural exchanges, which were called the Silk Road by later generations. The Silk Road helped unravel the mystery of the ancient China. Chinese tea was once sold abroad with the name of Oriental Leaves. Exquisite porcelains and silks were introduced to Southeast Asia, South Asia, and even reached the distant Arabian world, Europe, and the east coast of Africa. Meanwhile, precious spices, pearls, and colored glazes were brought back to China. In 1983, a 2,000 years old silver box in the Persian style was unearthed in the Chinese city of Guangzhou, which is a reflection of the impact of the Silk Road. There are more legends to be told. In AD 671, Tripakata Dharma Master Yi Jing traveled through over 30 countries by sea via Guangzhou and finally brought over 400 Buddhist scriptures back to China. In A.D. 1580, an Italian Jesuit priest, Matteo Ricci, later praised as the first person linking Chinese and Western cultures, came to China, introducing Western science, technologies, and arts of the modern time. When Chinese President Xi Jinping visited Central Asia and Southeast Asia in September and October of 2013, he raised the initiative of jointly building the Silk Road Economic Belt and the 21st Century Maritime Silk Road, also referred to as the Belt and Road. The initiatives have attracted close attention from all over the world. Since then, transportation networks have been improved, new ports have been built, and investment and energy projects have been studied or completed in some countries along the Belt and Road. For example, after the completion of the first stage of Jati Gede Dam project, which was jointly built by China and Indonesia, it now has the capacity to irrigate 90,000 hectare of farmland, benefiting 4.8 million local people in the low reaches, and creating more than 2,000 jobs. It is believed if all countries along the Belt and Road make concerted efforts to pursue a common goal, there will be bright prospects for the Silk Road Economic Belt and the 21st century Maritime Silk Road. And the people of countries along the Belt and Road will all benefit from this initiative, as they once did.